the stuff. He's been working on it for how long, Rob? Actually, um, the big one only took about two days to make. And what'd you make it out of? Balsa wood and uh, sheet plywood, which AC Moore, the place where we work, sells this type of material. And we got all these wires. And here's the little ones. Okay, which one's going off today? This one took about two hours to make. And they're paging me to the launch pad. Okay. So we gotta get it done quickly. All righty. Because these guys are on the clock. All right, well, I'm gonna go outside. Okay, what exactly is all of this electric electrical stuff? This is Joe, he's our receiving guy. He can explain it, because he's the one that provided the electrical stuff. See, you gotta ignite the engine from way inside there. Like a, a cigarette or a match won't do it on the top. In order to get something in there, you gotta have two wires coming out, and the electricity heats up the fuse and it burns from inside the engine and, and fires the engine off. Okay. So the battery power is gonna heat up the wires instantly inside there, set off the fuse, and shoot the rocket. I think less. Okay, we're trying to hook up the electrical stuff right now. Joe, the electrical technician. <laughs> And this is the launch supervisor. Sorry, he's not on camera. <laughs> he's a non-camera man? This is Rocket Man. <laughs> That's the launch supervisor. Is that the only piece that fell out? Okay, we're getting ready to launch off the rocket. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a close-up. very difficult because the sun is right there. Okay, so they're saying that if it works well, it should go across the whole parking lot in about one second. <laughs> that is if it'll work. I even got a larger motor. Unfortunately, I kind of pushed the wrong button, so we didn't get the whole thing. So they're going to try a larger motor, and uh, we're going to see if it goes farther. When I, when I decide to put the larger motor, yeah, there's a bit of wadding in there. That's what holds it. Uh, I designed something for the, uh, for the fuse to stick in the back. See, the motor's farther, farther than the next system. This one's the one you gotta watch out for. It's a slightly larger motor. I'd say maybe to the side. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this one's this one's gonna cruise. Don't 
push the button again. Third time, let's see if it'll work this time. I got him crossed! Landed way up there somewhere. Yeah, let's see. I can't find it. Oh, there's Joe's got it. Did it break? He can rebuild it again. Okay, well that's our first launch at AC Moores in Manchester and hopefully there'll be many more because Rob's our engineer here. Say hi everybody. These are some of the spectators that watched the, the launch. We got Ray and Brian and Chris and Joan. We launch a car towards a brick wall. <laughs> well, we, we can rebuild it though. Actually, I have all the parts. I can rebuild it. Yeah. Cool. Actually, <laughs> it sounds like the six million since, dollar man. Actually, it, it all performed really well. The skis performed perfectly. You see how much? Well, you see how much they sanded down? Yep. And uh, the length of the thing? They actually yeah. got a lot of pressure on the back. Yeah. If it weren't for them two skis, this thing would have been done hitting them cars. <laughs> oh, dude, it tore off one of the fins. One of the fins. Oh well. It must have rolled. Now we gotta do a boat. That's the one that. That's the one that broke off last night. Right there. I think it